Elias Khan. Average is amazing. Average is amazing. Elias Khan. Fifteenth March, nineteen eighty-seven. Place Indian Military Academy, Dehradun. 2000 cadets had lined up at the start point of the 9 km cross country race and I was one of them and my heart was going tick 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 I was not tense I was not tense because I was trying for a podium finish I was just trying to finish <laughs> The gun went off and we all took off and I ran and somehow managed to complete and finish in the middle group so after the event was over, all the winners and the gladiators were felicitated, congratulated and celebrated while we, the average ones, were ignored, shunned and snubbed. No one even gave us that recognition that we had finished a big race. Average is a seven letter curse of the modern times. Curtis Chair Fellow Toastmasters and dear guests, I want to ask you, how many of you have been labeled or branded as average in your schools or colleges or at your workplace? I already see a lot of hands rising. <laughs> <laughs> the majority of the world falls into the category of average, yet somehow I don't know why people are afraid of being branded as average. So dear averages of the world, Today, I stand before you to impel you, to impress upon you, not to feel stressed, but to feel blessed that you are an average. Because being average is not demeaning. Average is amazing. Every day in our lives, millions of people, millions of average people touch our lives in a million different ways. Do we recognize that? My mother has been selflessly caring for her family for the past five decades. But in the eyes of the world, she would be labeled as average. Every day, lakhs of children rush to these prep schools where eager and enthusiastic teachers put their hearts and souls in nurturing these little kids. And what does the world label these teachers as? Average. Look around you. The schools, the colleges, the airport, the buses, trams, taxis, call centers, offices, nothing in this world would move without the contribution, the honest effort of so-called average people. Yes, average is contributing and average is amazing. So let me clarify here, there must be some talkers who would be feeling hurt by my statement. <laughs> I'm not against toppers or the toppers who turn into billionaires and trillionaires, I salute them. But my problem is this obsession, this blind obsession that every child has to be a topper and every person has to be a topper and they're being flogged and pushed. As if the entire world can only live in a binary state that either you are number one or zero. <laughs> and this obsession has gone too far these days. You know, in our childhood, the mothers used to sing these kind of lullabies for us. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. And nowadays, the obsessed moms start singing A square plus B square plus 2AB equals A plus B whole square. <laughs> and do you think this obsession ends at the childhood? No. It carries on even when we are adults. Every day in the morning, on WhatsApp, you get this good morning tea motivational messages. Either be a topper or you are a grasshopper. <laughs> be a tiger. Be an eagle, don't be a duck. Be a lion, be a leopard, be a cheetah, be a this, be a that. Hello. How about this? Be a human. <laughs> because humanity is the first casualty in this war, in this mad scramble for people to reach the top. 
And humanity is one quality you'll always find in we the average people. While the gladiators are busy fighting their battles and duels of death and conquering the world, it is the average people who reach out, save human lives, save the earth from violence, save the environment from destruction. Yes, the average people who do this. Kaila Sityati, Mother Teresa, and thousands of such names you could count, who could be labeled as average by the world, but their performance, but their contribution is unparalleled. So average is uplifting, average is contributing, and average is amazing. So getting back to that story of this average runner, the story didn't end in 1987 at the IMA. It continued, no, I continued to run simply because I loved it. So flash forward from 87, 30 years, 2017, 15 January, I was at another big race that was at the Mumbai Marathon and I was going to run my first full marathon. And the problem was I was average and I had another tag, old, I was going to touch 50. <laughs> the average and old. And I ran. And I ran and slogged and strained and stressed for 5 hours and 19 minutes. At the end of it, completed, I had the medal in my hand. And then I realized that out of those 2,000 people of my batch of 1987, there were only three of us who were at this point done full marathons. And I'm one of them. And I realize I'm average and I'm amazing. <laughs> so my message to all of you Americans of the world is tear away those tags and throw away those labels. Just focus on your contribution. What matters most is what you feel about your contribution and feel proud about your contribution. So my message to all of you is love yourself and love what you do because no one else will do it for you. Your contribution to the world is immense, so, so, so don't be so tense for these labels which make no sense. Love yourself. You are a unique human being. Start living and stop racing and believe that average is amazing. amazing. amazing.